The Falkland Islands football team have a very challenging group stage ahead of them, with their group contesting of the Isle of Man, Innismon and Shetland, all being heavy favourites for the gold medal. So, in preparation, the Falklands took on the Chagos Islands in a friendly match which took place in Rygate. This was the Falklands' first chance to play as a full team before heading to Guernsey, and manager Troy Bowles talked about his expectations before the game kicked off. The vibe in that dressing room was nerves right now. There's a, even though it's just a friendly, um, we don't know too much about the team we're playing against. We don't, as I say, I expect them to be Island Games level at least. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of boys in there. Some of them obviously have been around, done it before, a whole different ball game. They're all pretty chilled out and relaxed. But uh, we had a bit of a blow that Jordan's knees not held out too well with the training this morning, so he's not going to play tonight. Um, we just said to him, look, next week's the goal. Next week's the important bit. So we'll we'll nurse him through to that. Um, but we've got Dana, the physio, joining us from tonight. So she's in there now, just getting a couple of the boys ready, and then she'll work with Jordan once we kick off. Um, and then. She's coming to Guernsey with us as well, which is really good. We'll help Kelly out with the other, the other teams as well, but, um, but hopefully get our boys ready. As the match started, the Falklands found themselves down 1-0 quite early on, with the Chagossians perhaps taking advantage of the nervousness from the Falklands. For the next 25 minutes, despite the early deficit, the Falklands performed well, as they managed to test the Chagos goalkeeper multiple times. However, against the run of play on the other side of the pitch, a loose bouncing ball fell awkwardly for goalkeeper Matthew Hansen as it bounced off his gloves into the back of the net. Going into the half-time break down 2-0, the Falklands knew they would have to come out in the second with intensity and hope in order to try and fight back into the game. But ultimately on the day, the missed chances from the first half would prove to be pivotal in the final score as Chagos netted two more in the second half to make the final score 4-0. A tough pill to swallow for the Falklands lads, but nonetheless in front of a supportive crowd, the team played well together and considering some players had just joined the team from the UK, the instant chemistry that was on show was definitely a highlight of the game. After the match, we caught up with both managers and asked for their perspective on the game. So yeah, it was a good run out. The Falcons obviously going out to Guernsey. I think they they needed a good run out, so we made it nice and competitive. And yeah, the boys were as intense as ever. Obviously on the sideline managing your own team, but looking at the Falcons and their competitiveness, how would you how would you rate them? Do you think that they're up to scratch? Yeah, I think they obviously the, the struggle is, and I think it's apparent that the physicalness and the how competitive these games are week in week out for us over here they don't get much of that back home so I think getting everyone together it's trying to get that competitive nature but trying to get it quickly so but yeah there's some very talented players that I'd quite I'd love to have in my team so I think they'll be I think they'll be all right this year the first 10 minutes or so they got they got their first goal by from the wing back overlap and down the right and it took us a little while to get a handle on that he's a very good player um, and they were using it well but then when we started pushing up a bit, we kind of changed the momentum. And we should have equalised. We argued we should have been 2-1 up. Just a bit unlucky, the keeper made a couple of good saves. I think we had four shots probably inside the box that just hit people. Um, and then the second goal was just a bit of a sucker punch. Fast forward to Guernsey. I nabbed some of the team for their thoughts on their performance and the tough matches ahead.